One of the big things that Galaxy Z Fold devices have over the other foldables on the market is the ability to have a completely distinct layout for your cover display versus your inner display. Some people want to have two completely different layouts. They feel like that cover display is for certain things, certain apps, and that inner display is for completely different things, and therefore they would need their own layout. Only the Z Fold, there may be some other folding phone out there, but broadly speaking, the Z Fold is maybe the only one who allows you to have two independent home screens. A few months ago, I did show you a launcher called Octopi that does give you this capability, and I think it does a pretty darn good job, but it's a little bit weird the way that you have to actually install this thing. You have to join this Google group to gain access and then download this. It's not in the Play Store. It is in Alpha. Today, we're looking at another way to go, another launcher that's going to give you something similar. This is Smart Launcher. This was actually posted earlier today, April the 15th. This is a beta, but in this beta, you can see here with an original Pixel Fold, you will now have two completely distinct home screens. So to get access to this, it's very simple. Go to the Google Play Store, search for Smart Launcher, and you are going to need to scroll down. It should be all the way down at the bottom the first time around, but you're looking for this little option here that allows you to join the beta. You'll just see a button that says join and you join it. It may take a few minutes before the listing now says beta, but once it does, you can either update or install this uh, application. From there, simply open it up and it's going to ask you to set it as your default launcher. Go through the setup process and there is one thing you need to do to actually enable this feature. Long press on an empty space somewhere on your home screen, swipe up to get into the full settings, scroll down and look for where you see version info all the way down here at the bottom and you're going to touch and hold that and it's going to pop up and say developer options are now enabled. Scroll down a little bit further and you'll see experimental options and from there you can now turn on independent foldable layout and independent landscape layout. What they're talking about there, if we scroll down, is this right here, so that whenever you rotate the device, you can have a completely distinct layout for that as well. So not only inner and outer screen, but also per orientation, if you want that sort of thing to be a thing. Personally, I do not. I'm only turning on independent foldable layouts. Once that's done, when you go back home, on your inner screen, it's going to just be blank. You have to set it all up yourself, drag the apps on that you're using, and get things set up to your preference. Now, before I go any further at all, I've only tested this on my Oppo Find N5, and it is working totally fine. But the problem here is if we jump into an application, I do not have my taskbar anymore. If I do my little swipe up to get to my taskbar, that's not what happens. It just goes home or it tries to like do some, you know, goes into the, the multitasking screen. The, the taskbar to multitask is gone. Let's try the two finger swipe down. I'll launch a second application and that is working just fine. So you can still multitask, just no taskbar. I am also seeing quite a bit of a delay whenever I'm going home. But now, of course, whenever I close this device, I'm going to get a completely independent layout that you can do whatever you want with it. That is the point of doing something like this. You are going to sacrifice a few things to do this, like I just mentioned, but if you absolutely do need two different layouts, this is another option to go with that is in the Google Play Store right now. Now, I won't do like a full deep dive into Smart Launcher, but it does have a handful of features that I really like. If you swipe all the way over to the left, instead of having your Google feed, which is algorithmic, this is an RSS feed, which means you can tell it exactly what you want. You can just simply add the websites that you want to have. I actually use Feedly to get my news already. This basically builds Feedly in to the left side of my launcher, that far left page, and that is very cool. It does also have this smart search option, which I actually forgot to add to my inner screen. 
basically what that's going to be is a universal search. So as you're typing, it's looking at contacts, it's looking at apps, it's looking at a lot of things. If we jump into the settings for that smart search, you can see the search results will show contact shortcuts, web suggestions, Play Store apps, media calendars, and settings. So this is something that you're probably used to on some devices, like the Oppo Find N5's Fives global search. It's basically that. And if you long press on something like a widget on your home screen, you'll also see this fine positioning option. You'll see lots of options here like move, and it's not just a normal way to move your widgets around. You can just hit these arrows and move these widgets by tiny, tiny amounts to get them exactly where you want them to be. I think there's also elevation, so you can have things underneath other things, I guess. There's a lot of customization that can be done here and in fact you can even resize things in such a way that they like kind of partially break the widget you can do so much customization with this launcher it's not even funny now don't get me wrong this is a beta and you are going to be seeing some bugs and issues like i've talked about i do genuinely hope that they're able to get the taskbar on foldable devices working i would love to hear from you guys if you test it on other devices like pixels or galaxy devices is the taskbar working for you? Drop that comment down below and help everybody else out who is going to be looking to test this thing. And of course, like I said, the little delay when you're going home, that needs to be kind of figured out as well. But the groundwork is here. I think it's a good start and it's worth checking out, especially if you're hesitant to install an application that's not in the Google Play Store. I'll put a link in the description to their blog post so you can see everything that they're talking about. Uh, with this beta update. Guys, thanks for watching. If you want to help support the channel in a more direct way, consider clicking that join button down below to help make me a little bit less reliant on ad revenue. And by doing that, you're going to get access to some early content. So it's a video that you're going to get to see first before the rest of the public. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.